Hi everyone, you are highly welcome back to my channel. My name is Akuridi Adinike. If this is the first time of you checking on my channel, please like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell for you to be notified each time I upload new video. In the tutorial today, I would like to make wrap crop top, which is very simple to make. This is the Ankara fabric I'm using for the tutorial today. I have less than two yards of fabric here. You can use more than that, depends on your body size. So let's begin. To know the amount of fabric I'm putting on foot for this tutorial, I'm going to make use of my bust measurement, which is the biggest part of my upper part. And my bust measurement is 38 inches. I'm going to divide it by 4. That will give me 9.5. I'm going to add half inch ease to it. That is 10 inches. And I'm going to add 1 inch for seam allowance to it. That, that will be 11 inches. So let me quickly put it on foot for you to see. I'm cutting the back part first. You know, it's a wrap top. This is 11 inches folded into two as you can see this is the wrong side of my fabric and this is the right side i'm making all the markings on my right side for you to see it very well so this place indicates my shoulder line now from there i'm going to measure out my chest line to get that it's half of my round ham hole my round ham hole is 18 inches divided by two will give me nine inches which is here i'm going to add half inch seam allowance to it because I'm using that half inch to join my shoulder. That is 9.5, which is here now. From my shoulder line to my boss point, my boss point is 10.5 plus half inch seam allowance. That is 11 inches, which is here. From my shoulder line to my under bust line is 13.5 plus half inch is, I mean plus half inch seam allowance, 14 inches, which is here my shoulder to the length of my top will be 19 inches you know i said i'm making crop top so and the remaining allowance will be will be for seam allowance so this is where the 19 inches is now on my shoulder line here i'm going to input half of my shoulder there my shoulder is 15 inches divided by two giving 7.5 plus half inch is that is eight inches so that eight inches i'm going to input it on my chest line too to create my armhole cuff so i'm going to connect it just like this so i'm going to extend these lines too for you to understand this is my chest line my boss point line my under bust line and this will be the full length of my top so on my shoulder line, I'm going to input my neck width. I'm using 3.5 for my neck width. Neck depth for the back will be 1.5. So I'm going to use my free hand to shape it out just like this. And to mark out my, to rule out my shoulder slants, from here now I'm going to measure one inch downward and I'm going to connect it just like this that is my shoulder slant so I'm going to pull out my back armhole you know I said I'm cutting back first so on my chest line I'm going to input quarter of my bust my bust is 38 inches divided by 4 will give me 9.5 plus half inch is that is 10 inches and plus another one inch for seam allowance that is 11 inches exactly 11 inches i'm marking that 11 inches as well on my bust point line under bust line i'm going to input quarter of my under bust my under bust is 32 inches divided by 4 will give me 8 inches plus one inch that that is nine inches and plus one inch for my seam allowance that is ten inches which is here waistline here which is the full length of my top i'm going to input quarter of my waist there my waist is 34 inches divided by four will give me 8.5 plus one inch that that is 9.5 and plus one inch for seam allowance that is 10.5 which is here so i'm going to shape it out for you now to see you know I said I'm cutting the back first, so here is it now. 
and I'll go ahead and cut it out for you to see before moving to my front part. I'm cutting my back part, I'll quickly fold another fabric for my front part. My front part now, I folded it into two and I added five inches extra to form my wrap to it. So I'm going to place my back on it like this, on this line. My center back will be on that line. So just like this. So I'm going to trace my back out on it. I'm done tracing my back part on my front part. Here is it now, as you can see. And to create a hole for my front part, I'm going to find what is in between this point and this point to create my front arm hole. What is here now is 8.5 inches. I will quickly fold my tape measure like this to find the middle of it. Here is the middle of it. And I'm going to come in by 0.75 from there now to create my armhole, my front armhole. I'm going to slant it like this and I'm going to finish it up with my, with the curved side of my ruler, just like this. That is my front armhole now. And to get the neck for my wrap at the front here, so on this line, I will measure eight inches. 8 inches for my neck line for the wrap and the bottom here I'm going to measure 3 inches before shaping my wrap out 3 inches so you know I measured 8 inches from the shoulder here for my neck so I'll just take my hip curve like this because I want to make it curve a little bit so i'll just roll it out like that to meet this point the three inches i measured from the waist here i'll just shape it like this out and i'm going to cut it out you know i already have my front ham hook off so i'm going to cut it out now for you to see Shoulder slant. The side. My front arm hole. And I'm going to open this place up, just like this. That is all for. This is my front now, and this is my back part, as you can see. This is how it's going to be, as you can see. Here is the wrap that we are talking about. So I'll go ahead now and cut the facing for my top now. I'm done cutting facing for both front and back. This is my back facing now. I'll go ahead and place it on my neckline like this. This is the right side. I'm going to let the right side face each other like this. But before placing it like this, I'm going to place my facing like this i'm going to hem the bottom of it i'll just fold it once and hem it so after that i'm going to place it on my neckline like this and stitch with half inch so this is my front now i've cut the facing for it too here is it here is the facing for the first one and here is the second one and the facing so i'll go ahead and place my facing like this I'll just let the right side of it face the right side of the top, just like this. And I let the facing, I let it reach the down part of my top to make it neat. So I'll just stitch with half inch. Before stitching facing to my front, I will have to join my belt to it first. This is my belt now. I've already cut it out. I have two pieces of belt here. And the length of my belt is the length of my belt is six inches each, and the width of it is 45 inches. So you can make your belt wider or longer than this, depends on how much fabric you want or you have and how you want it. 
So I'll go ahead now and stitch my belt. I'm going to fold it into two. Let the right side face each other. The two belts now folded into two. As you can see, here is the second one. So to add more beauty to my belt, I'll just come this side now and measure two inches and slant it just like this go ahead and slant it like this and cut it out before stitching it together so we'll cut it out now so here is it now i'll just go ahead now and stitch from here i'll stitch from here with half inch down to the second side i'm going to leave this side open for me to bring it out when I finish stitching it. So I'm going to do the same thing on the second belt. Stitch from here with half inch. This is my back part. I've finished attaching my facing to it and I'm going to notch it with quarter of an inch on the neckline. After that, here is my belt now. I'm done stitching it and I've turned it to the right side. I'll go ahead and give it a good press before attaching it to my front part. Here is my front part. I will easily take my belt after ironing. I'm going to place it like this and place my facing just like this. I'll let the right side of my facing face the right side of my top just like this. And I'm going to so I'll go ahead and stitch with half inch from my shoulder here till I reach my waistline. I'm going to do the same thing on the second part of my front part so when i finish all that i'll come and show you what's next i'm done attaching my belt i've ironed it out and i've attached it to my top as you can see so and this is the facing i've turned it in and iron it out so i'm going to hem my facing i'm going to fold it once and hem it for it to be neat me now to mark out my dart this is the first one and this is the second one right side is facing each other these are the two front parts now and this is my back i've turned my facing in two and i've ironed it out as you can see so i'll go ahead and fold it into two now for me to mark out my dart and i'm going to place it on my front part place my back on my front these these are my two front part and this is my back part folded into two my shoulder and i'm going to measure out my chest line which is 9.5 you know i measured out 9.5 from my shoulder line while i was cutting so here is it now from my center back here now i'm going to measure out my nipple to nipple measurement my nipple to nipple measurement is seven inches divided by two will give me 3.5 plus half inch same allowance that is four inches which is here now and on the waistline too which is the full length of my top i'm going to measure it out as well that four inches so i'm going to connect it just like this and here now I'm going to measure out half inch on both sides for my dart. And I'm going to measure out one inch for my chest line. That is where my chest, my back dart is going to start from. And I'm going to connect it straight down to the waist line, which is the full length of my top. You know, I said I'm making crop top. So I'll just connect it like this. For that, from that one hinge that I measured down. I back that now. My back that is going to start from here. And to make it reflect on the other side of the back, I'm going to hold it like this and dot it out. Hold it like this and dot it out. And do the same thing on the front part of it. Hold it down. Dot it out. Just to save myself from unnecessary stress. So. So I'm going to remove my back 
my back part now here is my back part so I'll just go ahead to my mansion and hold it like this I'll just hold it like this and stitch from here with half inch slantly to meet this point so I'm doing I'm doing the same thing on the second side of the back part here is my front now and this is the nipple to nipple line I'm just connecting it here is it now here is my nipple to nipple line now go ahead and measure for my shoulder now you know while i was cutting i said my shoulder to my breast point is 10.5 inches so i'm going to add two inches to it that is where my front that is going to start from that two inches plus that 10.5 that will give me 12.5 plus half inch that i'm going to use to join the shoulder that is 13 inches so this is where my front that is going to start from now so and on my waist i'm going to measure half inch on both sides so i'm going to connect it slightly like i did on the back part just like this i'll do the same thing on the second part of my front and i'll go ahead and to my mansion i'll go ahead to my mansion and hold it like this i'm going to hold it like this and stitch from here let me put this one aside for you to see it very well here is it there is one part of my front now i'm going to fold it like this and stitch with half in from this bottom now till i meet this place so i'm going to do the same thing on the second part of the front adding my dart this is my back part i'm going to hem the bottom of it with bias tape and this two front part too i'm going to hem the bottom of it with bias tape so when i finish that i'll come and show you what's next i'm done i mean i mean i'm done with the dart and i've hemmed the bottom of it with bias tape here's the back part and here are the two front parts so i've finished with the dart too and i've hemmed the bottom with bias tape i will now go ahead and place it on each other like this this is one of my front parts i'm going to place it on each other like this let the right side face each other so i'll now join my shoulder with half inch two shoulders i'm going to join it with half inch so after joining the shoulder i'm going to stitch my side seam too so after that i'll come and show you join the first shoulder but i want to show you how i achieved it on the second shoulder to put my front shoulder in between the facing and the back part of my top so i'll just fold this one on it like this and i'm going to stitch with half inch done with the top as you can see it's very nice and beautiful and to make my facing to make it lay very well to make it come to my body like this i'm going to use my hemi gum for it i'll just open it up i'll put my gum in between the facing and the top i'm doing the same thing on the second part of it and, and as well as the back neck too so here is my sleeve now this fabric is for my sleeve you know as you can see it as you can see the top i'm making on the screen i have big puff sleeve but this is a little fabric i'm using for it you can use more than this if you have more than this so and to get that sleeve now here is it here is the fabric i'm using it's folded into four because i'm cutting the two sleeves together so from here now i'll just measure four inches or whatever inches your caps height is just measure it out but as for me i'm measuring four inches i'll just 
rule it like this i'm going to rule it out like this so i'm going to shape it like this Just make sure you, you shape it like this to form like s so i'm going to leave this place like this i'll just cut it out so and i'm using one half inch elastic for this place to make it shape a little bit so so this is my two steps now i'm going to shape here as for the length of my sleeve i have 15 inches by 13 inches folded into four i'm cutting the two together so i'm going to notch here to serve as my center so i'll go ahead and spread it like this now here's my sleeve now i'll just fold half inch and i'm going to fold one inch again so it will just be like this till i reach here um, after that, I'm going to insert my half inch elastic to it to make it shape at the band here. So I'm going to do the same thing on the second sleeve. My sleeve, I'm done hemming it and I've inserted the elastic to it. So I'll just drag my elastic like this. I make sure I secure it here before dragging, please. Make sure you secure your own tool before dragging for it and to avoid it getting inside so i'll keep on dragging it till i get my sleeve band so i'll just place it on each other like this and stitch this place i'm going to stitch it from here till i till i get to the armpit these are the two sleeves now i'll go ahead and attach it to the body and make sure i puff the shoulder area like this it will just be like this so when i finish all that i'm going to give it a good press and put it on for you to see the finishing look of it this is where i'm stopping for today guys if you find my tutorial helpful please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel to support my channel if you have a question pertaining to cutting and sewing you can drop it in the comment section below or you can join me on my facebook group details to sewing created by Akurede Adenike. I'm on Twitter and Instagram at Akurede Adenike. Please, 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 please show me some love by liking and following my page on Facebook at Akurede Adenike Sewing Tutorial. Till I see you in my next video, guys. Stay safe, stay blessed. Bye bye.